Welcome to the new month of June cohorts. So this month, this will be our last lesson of the school year. And then we're going to be all finished. So today, we are going to read a book. And then we're going to play a fun summer activity. So today's lesson is meant to be a fun lesson. So we won't be working on a specific core word. We will be doing a review of all the words we've learned this year. So I'm going to share my book. And we will be reading Oh, the Places You Will Go. Here's the title of our book. So let's turn the page. Congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. And you are the guy who'll decide where to go. You'll look up and down streets, look them over with care. About some time you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not so good street. And you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's open in there, in the wide open air. Out there, things can happen, and frequently due to people as brainy and footsy as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew. Just go right along. You'll start happening too. Oh, the places you'll go. You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to high heights. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, You'll be the best of the best. Wherever you go, you will top all the rest. Except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say so, but sadly it's true. That bang ups and hang ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch and your gang will fly on. You'll be left in a lurch. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump. And the chances are then that you'll be in a slump. But when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun. And slumping yourself is not easily done. You will come to a place where the streets are not marked. Some windows are lighted, but mostly they're darked. A place you could sprain both your elbow and chin. Do you dare to stay out? Do you dare to go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, should you turn left or right? or right in three quarters, or maybe not quite, or go around back and sneak in from behind. 
simple it's not. I'm afraid you will find for a mind maker's helper will make up his mind. You can get so confused that you'll start into race down long wiggle roads at a breaknecking pace and grind on for miles across weirdish wall space headed I fear toward a most useless place, the waiting place. For people just waiting, waiting for a train to go, or a bus to come, or a plane to go, or the mail to come, or the rain to go, or the phone to ring, or the snow to snow, or waiting around for a yes or no, or waiting for their hair to grow. Everyone is just waiting. Waiting for the fish to bite, or waiting for wind to fly a kite, or waiting around for Friday night, or waiting perhaps for their Uncle Jake, or a pot to boil, or a better break, or a string of pearls, or a pair of ants, or a wig with curls, or another chance. Everyone is just waiting. No, that's not for you. Somehow you'll escape. All that waiting and staying, you'll find the bright places where boom bands are playing. With banner flip flapping, once you'll ride high, ready for anything under the sky. Ready because you're that kind of a guy. Oh, the places you'll go. There is fun to be done. There are points to be scored. There are games to be won. And the magical things you can do with that ball will make you the winningest winner of all. Fame, you'll be famous as famous can be with the whole wide world watching you win on TV. Except when they don't, because sometimes they won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too. Games you can't win because you'll play against you all alone. Whether you like it or not, alone will be something. You'll be quiet a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance you'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants. There are some down the road between hither and yon that can scare you so much you won't want to go on. But on you will go through the weather be foul. On you will go through your enemy's prowl. On you will go through the hack and cracks howl. Onward up many a frightening creek through your arms may get sore and your sneakers may leak. Oh, and on you will hike, and I know you'll hike far and face up to your problems, whatever they are. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with care and great tact. And remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous in theft and never mix up your right foot with your left. And you will succeed. Yes, you will indeed. 98 and three quarters percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. So, be your name Baxbaum or Bixby or Bray or Mordecai, Ali, Van Allen, O'Shea, you're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So, get on your way. And with that, we're all finished with our book. 
So next, we are going to play a fun summer activity together using our boom cards. Let's get our boom card ready. And we are going to the beach. We're going to play a board game together. So let me get my spotlight. Here we go. Let's go to the beach. Let's click next. Oh, look at this. Here is us. We are going from home to the beach. So we have to travel from home all the way to the beach and there's a lot of steps involved. So I'm gonna get our car ready and go to the first square. Oh, what do we wear at the beach? Here we have a one piece swimsuit, a jacket and some shorts. It's too hot at the beach. So I think, nope, no, 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 we won't be wearing this. No, 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 that'll be too hot. I don't like that one. I think it's gonna be too hot. So let's go back to, and I'm gonna choose our one piece swimsuit and our shorts because they're all short and we won't be too hot. Look at that, we got all dressed. Let's go to the next square in our board game. So now we have to pick our shoes. What do we wear at the beach? Here we have some sneakers, some tennis shoes, rain boots, and flip flops. So I have to say, I don't know about the rain boots. I don't think so. I don't like that idea. I don't know about the rain boots or the sneakers. It'll be too hot. No, no, no. We need something that we can expose more of our feet because it'll be too hot. Let's go back to our shoes. And I think we are going to choose the flip flops. So next, we're gonna move to the next square. We're gonna pick our hats. Let's go to the next square. Oh, what do we need at the beach? Here we have a sun hat, a beanie, mittens, sunglasses, socks, and snorkeling gear. So this hat and these mittens and these socks, I think they're too hot. No, no, no. I'm going to say I don't like those. I don't know about that. I'm going to say no. No, thank you. Not those. Clear my message. And let's go to our boom cards. I think these will be too hot. So I will choose the sun hat to protect our eyes and our face from the sun, our sunglasses for our eyeballs, and I think the snorkeling gear when we go under the ocean or when we're swimming. So I'm gonna click that one too. Oh, what toys do we bring to the beach? Here we have a bucket, a shovel, here we have a beach ball, a basketball, and a floaty. Hmm. So I know for sure that basketball, that one's not going to bounce on the sand. No, no, no. That one will not work. 
it's not gonna bounce on the on the beach so it won't work that one won't work so we can go to the beach so let's clear and I have an idea which ones we're going to choose I think these top two are perfect to build a sand castle the beach ball so we can throw and play catch and the floaty a unicorn floaty so we can float on the beach i think these are good ideas oh and we're moving on to on the game board i'm gonna go to the next category oh what do we need to bring at the beach here we have a first aid kit mouthwash toothpaste and sunscreen so we may or may not brush our teeth at the beach because it's salt water that's not gonna work i guess unless we're staying somewhere where we need to brush our teeth so i think we're going to take our sunscreen when we go to the beach in our first aid kit. Let's see if that's correct. Because I think that would be important, but we'll see if the game wants us to take our first aid kit. But I know for sure we have to take our sunscreen. There we are, we we're correct. First aid kit and our sunscreen. So let's advance to the next square. Oh, so here we have to pack our food so we can eat it at the beach. Put the fruits in the picnic basket. So we have to get our fruit so we can eat it. Some fruits and veggies. So let's check which ones are the fruit first? Watermelon is a fruit. Broccoli is a vegetable. You have a banana, bananas are fruits. Carrots are vegetables. Peas are vegetables. And here we have a mango. A mango is a fruit. And those are our fruits that go in our basket. We got our fruit ready. Next, we're going to build our salad. Let's go to the next square on our board game. Put the vegetables in the bowl. So now we are gonna talk about the vegetables. Here we go. The bottom part is our vegetables over here and our fruits on the top. So let's go pick our vegetables. Watermelon is a fruit. Lettuce is a vegetable. Here you go. Bananas are fruit. Carrots are vegetables. Here we go. Onion is a vegetable, but I would not put onion in my salad, but here we go vegetable and a mango mangoes are fruits so let's put all our salad together there we go let's go to our next square let's move our car so here we have to say how we make a sandwich let's go back home groups food and we have to build our own sandwich on what goes first on making a sandwich so first we need our bread and then we can put our peanut butter and jelly or whatever you like on your sandwich and then we eat it there we go, first we get our bread, then we get our condiments on, so our peanut butter and jelly, 
and next we eat it all. That's how we make a sandwich. Let's see, let's go to our next square. So here we have to put the food and drinks in the picnic basket. So things that we eat. So let's go home. So things that I want to eat or drink or our drinks so we can drink them. So not toys or things that might be necessary for the beach, but things that we eat. So let's see here, we have our sandwich. We eat sandwiches, chips. We eat chips, a flashlight. We don't eat flashlights. We use flashlights, soda. We drink soda pop, here it is, a whistle. We don't eat whistles. And a water bottle. We drink water. So I think we put all our food and drinks in the picnic basket. Our basket is ready. So let's go to our next square. Let's move our piece. Oh, so we need to pack now. Pack the things we need after we go swimming. So after we go swimming. So let's see, what do we need after we go swimming at the beach? A towel is good for drying. A pencil, I don't see why we need a pencil. We have shampoo, glue, a notebook, and soap. So I use shampoo after swimming because our hair may be covered in beach water. So I'm going to pack shampoo, glue. No, I don't think we use glue at, after swimming. A notebook, no soap. Yes, because we need to wash up after swimming. So I'm think these are all the correct things we need to pack. Yes, we were right. Next square, let's move our car. So now we need to pack our car so we can go to the beach. So we can go to the beach. So let's see. Here we have our surfboard, let's pack that, our beach towel, and our umbrella and chair. We're all packed up. Oh, look at that, let's move, we're almost to the beach. So now we have to find the beach. So this is home, we left home, so that's not right. Here, I think this is a school or a library. That's not the beach. Here we have a hospital. That's not the beach. Here's the beach. Look, there's the ocean and the sand. That's our beach. So I'm gonna click this one. Oh, look at that, look at that. Our last square at the beach. Look at that, we made it. Good job. Look at that, here are all the things we packed up and we are at the beach, we made it. And with that, we are all finished. So first, we read our book and then we played our summer activity. And with that, we are all finished. We are all done and we are going to stop. We did it. So I just want to say good job participating in a whole year of core words. And all I have to say now is goodbye. See you later. 
alligator. And I hope I will see you soon. Maybe next year, next school year. So I hope you have a great summer break. And I'll see you next year. Bye.